Hello, saints of God. Glad to get with you this week and just give you some updates on some of the upcoming events that's going to be happening at our church. But first of all, I wanted to show you this. Do you see this? This is my official voting ballot. Can you see this? My official voting ballot. What that means is that I now am going to exercise my voting rights. Today, in just a few moments, I'm going to put this in the safety deposit box over at the courthouse uh, with my families so that our ballots are already filled out and ready to go. What I want to say to you, November the 3rd is right around the corner, folks. And uh, very shortly, you and I will be called upon to make some decisions, especially this important decision that's coming up in on November the 3rd. So what I'm asking you to do is make sure you're lining yourself up with getting ready to vote. Don't wait to the last minute. Now, these ballots that many of you may or may not have gotten yours yet uh, is coming to your house. Now, when it comes, please read the instructions. If you make a mistake, you cannot erase, you cannot um, put uh, any kind of line through that or use whiteout. You won't be able to do that. You'll have to ask for another ballot. So please be careful. Read the instructions carefully so you will do it right the first time. Your vote is very important. And you'll hear more about that on this coming Sunday that segues now into our family meeting. This coming Sunday at 12 o'clock uh, p.m., we're going to have a family meeting. Folk, this is important that you attend the virtual fam family meeting. We are going to be on our virtual platform that we've been using for church, for prayer meeting, the same one you will get on. And at 12 o'clock, we'll begin our meeting. We are going to be discussing a couple of items and then we'll be finished. All right. So we need your presence this coming Sunday at 12 o'clock. Next month, I'm excited that next month we're going to spend the whole month every day except, well, every day of the month of October praying together. Because I think and I know that this coming election is going to make some serious changes by the way how we do things. We're already living in the abnormal time now. And so this coming Sunday, um, we're going to discuss, I mean, excuse me, uh, this coming October, we'll be praying together and uh, asking God to move. We want to pray for our families, our, our communities, our church, We're going to be praying for these elections. We're going to spend some time next month praying together. I really feel impressed by God to, for us to get together and do this. We do not know what to expect in the upcoming months and years on this earth, except that we prepare ourselves for the second coming of Jesus. We know worse things are coming. And so we just want to make sure that you and I are prayed up and stored God's spirit inside of us. So we'll be ready for whatever comes so that we'll start November the 4th at seven o'clock PM. We have speakers from our church around the conference, out of the conference, from other conferences that will be speaking to us every, every evening, just one hour, seven to eight o'clock PM every evening, starting October the 4th. So gather friends. This is a good time to have your friends join in with us and then hear some messages that come, especially in times in which we're living. The theme for our week of, for our month of prayer is hold up the light. Our flyers will be coming out shortly and uh, you will be getting those and you can share those with your friends and neighbors. You'll be able to pull those off our website. Hold up the light is the name or the theme of our month of prayer. 
Just want to give some shout outs uh, um, to those who celebrated birthdays that came across my desk, I should say. 91 years old, that is Mother Roland. Mother Roland just had a birthday the other day and she turned 91. Congratulations, Mother Roland. And uh, thank God in heaven, your children ought to be grateful that they still have a mother that exists, that they can put their hands around her neck and give her sweet kisses and appreciation hugs for the wonderful, wonderful things that she has done over the years for them. So Mother Roland, congratulations and happy birthday from us. Another Elder Harris just, and we were informed just the other day, turned 81. I told him he looks like he's just about 60. And if you could see him bowl and fish, you wouldn't think he's 81 years old. I tell you, he is a master at what he does. And so our shout out to you, Elder Harris. Uh, we just want you to know how much we appreciate you and Sister Harris and thank God for your 81 years here on this earth. Glad you're a part of us. And again, happy birthday, belated birthday, and we thank God for you. The, um, we've had a few medical challenges in our church of a few people. Sister Barbara Smith had her challenge, but she's home now, one of our members. Um, Brother Edwards, um, Eddie Edwards, uh, had a procedure the other day, and he's gladly home now, too. And there may be others that I'm not aware of, but we give, and every day we're praying for you and for our church family. We want you to know that we love you very much, and we want you to hold on to God's unchanging hands. With that said, we want you to enjoy our Sabbath service. As you see, our Sabbath services are now being streamed live, and uh, what a blessing it has been. So continue to watch and invite your friends to worship with us. My appreciation again to our media team who worked so very hard and diligently Thank you very much for all that you do and the sacrifices you make so that worship comes forth from our church to bless all of those who watch. May God's blessing be upon you. God bless.